I scored this all clad pan for $5 at the thrift store the other day, saving myself about $125 in the process versus buying new. But as you can see, it's had some use. Today we're gonna to find out if I can make this shine again and maybe give you some tips in the process uh, whether you find a pan like this at the thrift store or if yours have just been looking like this as well from a lot of use. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about cooking, cookware, and whatever else I can dream up. And today, well, we're doing something that kind of comes with the territory of cooking and that is cleaning, particularly our cookware. Now this is something actually really special. This is an all clad pan. This is an eight inch stainless steel skillet. And again, I found this for $5 at my local Goodwill. Now, usually this pan retails for $130. So it was a really nice savings. Now this actually isn't the first uh, all clad pan that I found at the thrift store and I made a whole video on why I love shopping at thrift stores for cookware and this is one of those reasons. When I can find something quality like this that just is really really special. Now I'm going to show you my process for cleaning this thing and uh, hopefully bringing it back to a state of new or like new condition. So let's see what we can do. Okay, first things first, my Goodwill puts one of these stickers on just about everything, including their cookware. And if you just try to kind of, you know, scratch it off like this, it's kind of difficult. So the first thing I'm going to do is soak this in a hot, soapy liquid for a few minutes until I can just kind of peel this right off. Soap. Our pan is soaked for a few minutes. Let me show you how easy it is to just take this sticker off now. So see, we got this. Now from here, we can just literally peel it right off. Voila. Okay, now we get to work. Elbow grease first. So again, I'm going to just soak this up really well. I've got a scrubber and we're gonna do our first cleaning. Just kind of getting off any grease or anything like that just like this. Okay, I've been scrubbing for a bit here. Let's rinse it off, show you where we're at. So as you can see, we've got the inside of the pan looking pretty good, but the outside, well, it's still got some of this gunk and grime. So that means we are gonna bring in the big guns. And for that, I'm gonna use uh, some Barkeeper's Friend. Uh, this stuff is actually uh, made especially for cookware, but you can use the regular kind as well. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just find that this stuff works. And also, some Scotch-Brite. So this is made for scrubbing just this kind of gunk and grime right off. So I'm just gonna coat this inside and out with this cleanser and then get to work. I'll start with this scrubber first, kind of see how we do. Sometimes this is enough to clean off that uh, grime and it certainly is making the inside look good here, I can tell, but the outside, this is gonna be another case, another story. And yeah, it's looking like it's looking like it would take some time with this guy. So let's see what we can do with this. Again, this is a stainless steel scrubber. It's meant just for this. This actually brings back memories. Back when I was in culinary school, we had to not just you know cook our meals, but we had to clean the cookware. And there was a lot of cookware to clean afterward, like hundreds of pieces. Sometimes we would spend the better portion of an hour just cleaning pots and pans. You know, all that illustrious stuff. So here we go. We're just gonna keep scrubbing here. And look at this, it's taking it right off. All right, spent a few minutes here giving this thing some good elbow grease and this is looking really nice. Let me give this guy a rinse. Show it to you before my one final tip here. Look at that. All of that gunk, all that grime came right off. I did have to work pretty hard to get into these little nooks and crannies, but uh, all clean. So the last thing I'm gonna do, and this is why I like uh, Barkeeper's Friend in particular, is because it's a cleaner and a polisher. 
So I'm just gonna sprinkle some more inside and then just take my green pad again. And with the soft side, I'm just going to give this a nice scrub. And this is gonna help bring out that shine. So we're gonna do the same thing in back here. An eight inch pan, an eight inch stainless steel skillet like this is really, really versatile. And I like this pan in particular because it's also induction ready. I did a whole video on how to know if your pans are induction ready or not. I'll link to that in the description below, but this one is ready to rock. So we'll just give this a final rinse, dry it off, and I'll show you what it looks like. And voila, we are done, and I would say this is a success. With a little bit of manual labor, we got this looking just like new. I hope this inspires you. So my method, whether you find something at the thrift store like I do that needs a good cleaning or your pan has just had a lot of use, is soak it in some hot soapy liquid, then get to scrubbing. You can start with a just a scouring pad and then if it's really junked up like this one was, you can use a metal scrubber and then a powder cleanser like Barkeeper's Friends to really get in there. Now you don't want to use something like this on nonstick but for metal, stainless steel like this, or aluminum, this will work just great. So there you go. My $5 pan is now a like new $130 pan. Now, the only question is, what should I cook in this first? Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, keep on cooking.